Okay, now we're going to look at problems three and four on the review. So let's go to the review sheet. And hopefully you have your review sheet in front of you and you can look on with me. Okay, so we have, so we're going to look at problems three and four. So when we talk about intersection, we mean we want elements that are in both. Both. So we look at set M, we have five, seven, nine, eleven. And set R, we have five, six, seven, eight. So five is in both. So we put five here. Seven is in both. We put seven. Nine is not in both. Eleven is not in both. So they don't go in here. Eight is not and six is not in both. So these are the only two elements. Now, if we wanted union, like the U looking symbol for R, M union R, then we would want everything in both, all. So we would put in here five. So we don't have to put that twice, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 10's not in either one, but 11 is. So we want, when we're talking about union, we put everything in. Okay, so that's problem three. Problem four, we want the complement of set N. Well, what we have to do here is we have to look at the union and we have to look at set N. Well, since sec n is 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, then the complement, this little mark up here at the top, means everything that's in the union, the universal set, that's not in set n. So basically, we look at set n and we cross out anything that's in set n. We cross that out of our universal set. Universal set meaning the universal set has everything that all these other sets have. So since n has six, we cross six out. Well, five's not in n, so we put five in here in the complement. Okay, eight is in n, but seven is not. So we can put seven here. 10 is, but nine is not in set n, so we can put nine in there. 12 is in set n, so we cross that out of our universal set, but 11 is not, so we put 11. And um, 14 is in set n, so we cross that out. And thir 13 and 15 are not in set n, so we put 13 and 15. So the complement of set n are all elements of set n that are not that are that are in the universal set but are not in set n. So it's like the opposite. So if we look at n and its complement, that would equal to everything that's in the universal set. Union meaning in both. Okay, and so the complement of set n, that's our answer. Okay, and the in intersection of set n, m and r, that's our answer for problem three. And that's the end of this video. We're only gonna do a couple of video, a couple of problems for each video.